Hi, welcome to Zika Your Review. There are new rumors about a new Nintendo Switch coming out to market. Yes, I know that there have been rumors about the Nintendo Switch for a while now. I think <laughs> at least two years by now that <laughs> Nintendo was going to make a brand new Nintendo Switch at Switch Pro or whatever people have been calling it. And then they came out with that Nintendo Switch Lite. Wah, wah, wah. These new rumors come from Bloomberg, which is supposed to give uh, some sort of a uh, gravitas and trustworthiness to the rumors. But nonetheless, these are still rumors, no matter where they come from. Nothing is official until it comes from the company that the rumor is being said about. Did that say that right? In this new rumor, the article talks about the new Switch Pro HD, Ultra HD, whatever you want to name it. It's supposed to have an OLED screen from Samsung that supports 720p resolutions. I know, right? 720p resolutions. Not really what you're expecting. But this is supposed to be a bigger Switch by having a 7-inch screen compared to the current switch that has a 6.2 inch screen in the switch light which has a 5.5 inch screen of course this being an OLED is supposed to be a better screen than an LCD screen which is the type of screen that the current switch has not only that but it seems kind of weird that this article is just focusing on the screen and they don't talk anything about what the internals of the device might be which being a rumor about uh, upcoming upgrade to the switch should have more than just what type of screen this switch is going to have the other big thing that we hear about this device is that it's going to support 4k resolutions once the device is docked but again if we don't have any information on what else is going to be inside this switch it kind of makes the rumor a little less believable when you're just focusing on the type of screen that it's going to have, the size, and that it's going to be capable of putting 4K resolutions when you dock it to your TV. Of course, having an OLED screen is going to give you a better image than anything an LCD screen can give you right now. So you're going to have better colors, better contrast. OLED is supposed to also consume less battery so technically your switch will run longer but what makes me suspicious about this report is this specific tidbit of information again this is from bloomberg the deal benefits samsung display because market prices for so-called rigid OLED panels have been falling due to excess supply winning a customer like nintendo also helps the korean giant an affiliate of samsung electronics co firm up production plans nintendo in turn secures a valuable partner and supplier at a time semiconductor shortages are squeezing the supply of display related components. It is it is interesting, like I said, the, the, why is this tidbit interesting to me? Because they're again, they're just talking about the display. They're not talking about anything else inside the system. All the important thing within that thing that I just read is the comment about se uh, the shortage on semiconductors. It's true, right now, everybody is short on semiconductors. So for Nintendo to go and make a brand new Nintendo Switch that supposedly is going to come out this year after Samsung starting production of their panels in June to have them ready for release for the new Nintendo Switch would mean that this device is already made. It already, it already exists, right? Like they already have the parts to just put together for it to come out this year. It will make sense that if they are releasing it this year, that it will come out holiday 2021. So that means that Nintendo secure all the chips and everything, what, 2019? Because it would have been impossible to do it during 2020 with, again, the shortage due to the pandemic. It's like there is a lot of holes on this so-called rumor of a Nintendo Switch coming out this year. If it was coming out next year, I will say, okay, fine, maybe. The other thing is probably means that this isn't going to be a brand new system. That this is going to be like a mid-generation upgrade, kind of like that Xbox One X was 
or in the Xbox One S and the PS4 Pro ones, where they just added new screen, in this case, another screen, and they beef up the output power of the system to run 4K games. These are just rumors. These are rumors as they have been for the last couple of years, like I said, of a coming Nintendo Switch upgrade, Nintendo Switch Pro, Nintendo Switch whatever. I won't believe it until I see it. I won't believe it until Nintendo says, hey, here's our device. It's coming out X date. Because it is really hard for me to believe that Nintendo will be doing something right now, especially with everything that's happening in the world. Not only that, but the Nintendo Switch is selling better than they could have expected. This pandemic has done wonders for Nintendo's business. Because of how long that the Switch has been out, it makes sense that they will want to upgrade the system and bring it up. That history isn't on Nintendo's side. Nintendo isn't the type of company that says, hey, look, everybody's doing 4K. We are going to do 4K as well. No, Nintendo's usually like, they're doing 4K, hyper upgraded graphics on their games. Eh, we're going to stick with 480p. All right, you know what? We'll throw 1080p. Yeah, Nintendo's never been a cutting edge company. It's always been a company that's very good at executing their weird, quirky ideas, which is why the Wii was successful and which is why the Switch is made successful. Because if you remember, the Wii U completely failed. And the reason why it failed is because they were trying to stick with the formula. And Nintendo's formulas, usually when they don't improve, when they don't push the boundaries, don't really work. What do you think about this new Nintendo Switch rumor? Do you think it's true? Do you think there's any possibility that we will see a brand new Nintendo Switch this year? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. Thank you very much for watching.